and welcome to disembarkation day have i said that right who knows who knows anyway welcome to disembarkation day becky doesn't want to get up <laughs> um it is currently quarter to eight and we are back in liverpool liverpool as i like to call it no back in liverpool um there we are and we've had the announcement about 10 minutes ago from the cruise director how do i turn the volume off on the telly there we go uh, we had an announcement about 10 minutes ago from the cruise director to say that if you have got the express thing you can start leaving the ship I don't even know, I didn't even know that was a thing. You can do this express walk-off. I didn't realise that they had this express walk-off thing. Um, they talked about it on the disembarkation video yesterday that was explaining about how you get off and all that malarkey. And um, yeah, we didn't realise that A, they did the express walk-off and B, who the hell wants to walk off the ship bang on 7.30? <laughs> Like, why? You don't want to stay on it as long as possible? <laughs> anyway, so we've got breakfast at... Where is it at? Lumiere's, where we was last night. So we'll get to see Beatrix and Arthur one last time before we leave. And our breakfast is at 8.30 and it's now 10 to 8, so we need to get a shimmy on because we have to take our luggage to breakfast with us and then from breakfast you then just wait to be called for your like group to leave the ship I think we're part of the Red Mickey group or something like that I don't know anyway they basically said you go to your breakfast and then from breakfast you'll basically wait there until your group's ready to go and they'll call you i think so that they've not got like loads of people disembarking at the same time so it's technically like a mass gathering isn't it um so yeah we just need to pack the final bits and then go to breakfast and wait to leave which is very sad and i'll tell you one thing these beds so comfy is the comfiest bed I've ever like slept on oh my god it's amazing they're very comfy mm. very very comfy um yeah right we need to move i don't want to let's get ready no, to rumble to. guess what becky yeah. we're going to grand canaria tomorrow yeah but i want to be on the boat you want to be on the boat I want to stay on. You want to stay on the boat? Rock the boat. Rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. Rock the boat solo. <laughs> I always sing that wrong. Anyway. I don't want to get off the boat. You don't want to get off the boat. I want to stay on the boat. Well, we're not allowed. we got to go. JR would come in to tidy the room and find us still in there and he'd say, you've got to leave. Oh, right. Okay, We're going to get ready. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Moving. I'm <laughs> moving.
Okie dokie, suitcases are packed, nothing left in the toilet, nothing left in the bathroom, we've already checked all these drawers, nothing in the, in the wardrobe. It's always sad, isn't it? That last sweep of the room. Nothing left up here. We've already checked the drawers. Becky's sunglasses on the bedside. You okay? No. Ooh. Um. Two disposable masks. Oh. Goodbye, room. It's very sad. <sighs> I think it's time. What time even is it, actually? Oh, quarter past eight, so it's nearly time for breakfast. Oh, it's warm. Oh, should we just sit here for a minute? Yeah. That sun's hot. Jeez. Oh, yeah, we've done everything. We're actually, usually we're rushing and we're like, we need to be out of the room. You know, like when you're abroad and you've got to check out the room by like 11. We're usually still in the room at 10 past 11. Like, we should have been out of here 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually early. Oh, what have you put Donald lounge fly on the bed? Becky's gonna have to carry two backpacks off. Or well, between us, we've got to carry two backpacks off. And she's got the Donald one. Oh, I can't be bothered with the drive home. Why does it have to be Liverpool? It's not it's even not that, that far. Though. It's not even that far. I just can't be bothered with it. It's only like an hour if that just under an hour about 50 minutes isn't mm. it down the motorway oh. <clears throat> liverpool's i feel like liverpool's a lot calmer than manchester city center because we're in the city center aren't we yeah it's, i just feel like it's a lot calmer than manchester there's not, there's not as many tall buildings either. Hmm. Anyway, I'm trying to rubbish now. Right, we shall take you to breakfast at Lumiere's in a minute. Right, let's go, let's get the bags, let's go. I don't want to. I don't want to. We got to. Oh my gosh, oh. this suitcase is so heavy. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. They don't push them on carpet, do they? No. Room seven five oh two. You've oh, been a blast. Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to Lumiere's. Okie dokie, we're in Lumiere's. We've got some pastries and then 
We need to order breakfast in a minute. Um, it's a different menu this morning, so there's no Mickey waffles, which I was going to get, but never mind. Uh, there's lots of different egg options, uh, basically. Like omelette, scrambles, fries, you name it, it's an egg option. And corned beef hash, which I think is so random on a breakfast menu, but okay. <laughs> How's your pastry? Is it good? Good. Okay, my ham and cheese omelette with hash browns is here. And Becky's just waiting for a bagel. She's ordered a bagel with cream cheese. The cream cheese is here. And jam and butter. No bagel. It, it's on its way. It's on its way. She's the only person I know who gets Coca-Cola for breakfast. In a restaurant, anyway. <laughs> they said it was fine. She said she could have it. I have got orange juice. Classic. And it's because I don't like. You've got three drinks. Three drink, Becky. You've got a, a coffee, a water and a Coke. Well, it's because I tried the apple juice, but I wasn't really a fan. Yeah. I don't really... I can't drink orange juice, although I like yeah, it. Yeah, it hurts your chest, doesn't it? Yeah. So... Oh. <laughs> Bagels here. What, what? Hey. We're full fat filly. <laughs> Yay! We're in. Floor one. My gosh, <laughs> somebody stole that. <laughs> We've just waited for this lift for like a solid five minutes. Everyone has to do it all day. They did. Right, we're getting off now. Sad times. I don't want to leave. So, I'm, I'm upset you're going to break Georgia. Oh, please, sir. Oh, really? Do you love it? Do you love it? No. Off we go. We're doing the tragical walk. Tragical walk? The tragical walk, yeah. Oh Jesus, I know they brought the trolley with me. Oh Jesus. Missing it a bit, <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm taking towels with me and everything here. Bedding. <laughs> Jesus. This is like back exit, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that way. Have a safe trip home. See you real soon. No, it's a suitcase. <laughs> Emma, yeah. thank you. And Rebecca? Yeah. Okay, I got you. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good morning. Good morning. See you now. <laughs> See you. Bye. These are coming on, they're forgetting half, aren't they? See you now. Bye. With the, Ooh, with the boat. I think that's our, our room. room. Is the middle row of the white strips. The second one in. Front. Second one in, yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, oh, 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 oh. Right. We're back in the car. Oh. Yeah, we're back in the car. That took quite a long time to get off i don't know what other ports will be like but liverpool takes ages because the ship comes in at a different part 
of the docks to where the car park and where the testing was when you first got on and like Liverpool docks if you're not aware are absolutely massive so you've got to like proper drive through the city centre on a coach to get back to this end and um it just took ages didn't it yeah um so it's now like nearly lunchtime. <laughs> but anyway we're off and we're going to drive back to manchester <laughs> we're home yay yay now it's time to get our head on tomorrow <laughs> and our journey home on the radio they were talking about all the travel updates and oh we're just a bit like what's going on yeah. Boris doesn't like to be clear about anything does he and they were going on about potential Spain going red but then it it isn't going red and it might go red and them going on about a watch list and I'm just like oh, what is going on because we're, we're worried that we don't want to go there and then whilst we're there it turned red because then we'd have to quarantine in the hotel when we get home which we just can't afford to do that both financially and just you know in any kind of way <laughs> yeah anyway we're going to do the paperwork for tomorrow so we need to fill out passenger locator form we need to do online check-in that's all we really need to do health thing health yeah passenger locator oh, form yeah yeah, let's do that. Right, paperwork is complete. We are checked in online. We have boarding passes. We've done the Spanish passenger locator forms. Um, I've uploaded proof of vaccination it's all approved and done so we're good to go tomorrow um we are partially checked in for our flight home but they can't um give out your boarding passes for the flight home until you complete a uk passenger locator form for the flight home but i can't do that until 48 hours before the flight home because you have to upload proof having a negative covid test before you get on the plane and you have to like put upload i don't know some proof that you've done that on it and vice versa so we can't do that until 48 hours before once that has been done jet 2 can then give us um uh, boarding passes so then they'll just have to be electronic on our phones so yeah Oh, there's just so much to do. I feel like travelling abroad is so stressful at this moment in time. There's just so much paperwork to do. It's crazy. And you know what? Spain isn't that bad either because you don't have to have a test to go out if you're fully vaccinated. Um, yeah, anyway, paperwork's done. Now we need to move on to unpacking and repacking. <laughs> we need to unpack from the cruise and repack for tomorrow. Um, behind me there is lots of clothes hung up ready to be packed that we'd already sorted out. It's just sorting it all out in it. So we better get cracking. <laughs> You're right love, you can try bring that up. And we need an escalator. We do. Don't need to carry it. Um, it's very heavy. <clears throat> Careful of the gate because it could knock the gate off and then it could damage the wall. Fucking hell. I know it's heavy. Heavy. Don't need to do it. No, I'll just take some stuff out. No, it should be alright to get up. What, you think you can carry it? Yeah. Up the stairs? Yeah. Oh, go on them muscles. Show us your strength. Don't bounce it. I don't want the wheels to come off. They won't. 
Don't bounce it. I'm not gonna bounce it. I'm just saying. take the light one well it's not particularly light either really I don't know how they've got so heavy oh. Neither do I. Oh. Oh. Nearly there. two more to go three more to go you can do a bruise you can do a bruise one two three oh. it's just like doing the barrels of the cricket club it is oh. That's like the big San Miguel one, that. Isn't it? Oh, okay. It's not as heavy as the San Miguel. It's probably about the weight of a standard barrel. You're right. Yeah. Not a big one. Jesus Christ, can't lift them on your own. Unpacking completed, washing load on downstairs, and now repacking has started. We actually haven't finished unloading that hand luggage case, but a lot of it's stuff that's going to be moved over to another case. But yeah, we've got our cases out, so we're both going to have a big case this time for Spain. So the big blue case is now just Becky's, and then I've got my big burgundy one that I bought for America. And we've got packing cubes out, so now packing cubes. Pink is mine and black is Becky's. We've just been looking at evening outfits. So these are Becky's evening outfits. She's got this like spotty co-ord and she's going to wear the dress again that she wore to Animator's Palette on the cruise. And then she's got a skirt and a white top and a gingham play suit. And then my evening outfits are just hung up in Joe's doorway at the minute. I'll just to show you so I've got a red dress that I got from Sheen 
black play suit that I'm not even joking I've had it for about eight years now and it still fits me um, a mustard play suit which is actually Joe's that I'm borrowing off her and then my black polka dot skirt which I wore to Universal Studios in the Florida vlogs with a nice like a fancy vest top it's not like a normal vest top it's that like nice material um, I don't quite know what material it is, but yeah, that tucked into that. So, because we've got four evenings on this holiday, because we go tomorrow night, which is Tuesday. So when we get there, it'll just be straight to bed because it'll be quite late at night. And then we've got all day Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So four evenings, and then we've got all day Sunday, and then Sunday evening we'll be coming home. So that's technically the fifth evening, but we won't need like a nice outfit for that because we will more than likely eat our dinner and then get a coach transfer to the airport for our flight home. Um, all being well, I've provided everything goes like that. But I'm gonna stop thinking negatively and just imagine everything's gonna go smoothly and hopefully it will. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pack now um, for Spain. Right. So packing is nearly done. Um, so we're just about to close up Becky's case. Should I take that? Yeah, if you want. Just, just in case it gets chilly. Putting a jacket in. That's it. And you're ready to ready to close. Hang on, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I can't wait to finish packing. Take what? Oh yeah, if you want to. Would I wear it though? You gotta think what you've got to wear. Everything's patterned. Yeah. Isn't it? What you're wearing at night, you've got the animator's palette dress, so you won't wear it with that. You've got that co-ord, the green one, would you wear it with that? No, you've well, you can't because it's a different pattern. What else have you got? The skirt with the white top wouldn't go with that, would it? And what's the other thing? Gingham play suit. Yeah. So would you wear it? No. No? You're going to leave it? Yeah. Or do you want to take it? I don't know. Leave it? Leave it. Leave it. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, so let's close your suitcase. <laughs> I did that the wrong way around. Yeah, oh. Alright, so I'm in my case. That's it. not got that much stuff in it. It really hasn't. But we've got, across the two of us, we've got too much stuff for one case, I would say. We probably haven't, but it'd be just a bit of a squeeze. Yeah. It's nice to just have, like, the freedom in it. So, Becky's case done. Oh, she's going to weigh it. That is definitely going to be under. Oh, it says it's low battery. Oh, no. How'd you do it? I can't remember. Hook it on. And lift. Oh, it's got no battery. What batteries does it take? Not working. Oh, it's one of them bastards that you put in a watch. We've got another one, another weighing thing here, like a manual one. Do I do that? I like this one though. I know, but it's not working. Try this one. Make sure it's on zero kilograms. Yep. Should have left a line. 
Nah, it's not nine kilograms. It must be. Wow. Very nice. Well, there we have it. Becky's case done. Let's move you out the way. Right, now let's do mine. Emma's turn. This is quite light as well, I think. It will be. Really quite light. Not heavy in the slightest. Scales. Scales. Back to zero. Mine's apparently lighter than yours. Seven kilograms. Seven? Nah. Do you think it's wrong? I think it's wrong, yeah. Let's try again. Three, two, one. Now that time it said 11. That's probably more. That's probably more realistic. What it is. Eight. <laughs> this thing is not very helpful. We need the digital ones to yeah. work. Son, son, son. Oh, go, 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 go before it cuts out. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to attach it to it. Oh, now it says low battery because mm. I went to do it. Never mind. Keep trying. So big cases are done. Need to do big cases. Little, sorry, little case now. Hand luggage now. Look at me. Half past five on the Monday that we've got back, and I'm going to start editing the vlogs from the cruise. Um, Becky's having a chill on the sofa downstairs. She's a bit tired. We did wake up pretty early this morning. It's been a bit of a day. So Becky's having a bit of a, a lie down um, and Joe's not going to be home from work till about half seven, eight and we're going to get a takeaway for tea because we're only home for one night and then we're off again um, so there's no point, we could go and buy something and cook it but we're just like let's just do easy um, so yeah so I've got a bit of time before Joe gets home and we have tea and Becky's just chilling so we're like you know what let's do the vlogs because I'm gonna chill for the next five days anyway, so let's do the vlogs. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh. My head feels so like, there's like so much going on in my brain. I think I just, it doesn't bother me that there's so much paperwork to do for going to Spain. What's bothering me is that there's been so much in the news today about the travel and about changes to travel restrictions and different countries changing to different colours and blah, blah, blah. And I just feel really, like, apprehensive. I just feel really like we're going to get there and then we'll find out that it's gone red or it's got or oh, it's gone to the super amber to be fair i don't really mind if it goes to the super amber obviously it's not ideal because our works don't want us to isolate for 10 days but if we get there and we're halfway through the holiday and it changes to the super amber then there's nothing we can really do about it but i don't want it to go red and that had never ever entered my head that Spain could potentially go red so i'm just like what <laughs> and then oh it's just there's just so much going around in my head i'm just like just i'm just trying my best not to think about it and just go and enjoy the holiday and believe everything will be fine but i had absolutely zero doubt in my mind that disneyland paris was not going to go ahead considering we only booked it two weeks ago and everything was supposed to be all hunky dory and then that got taken away from us and i think at the minute france's covid cases is less than Spain so it doesn't actually make any sense so I'm just a little bit nervous and I just need to try and stay positive and just believe everything's gonna be fine <laughs> oh, 
it's just really hard <laughs> there's just so much it, it's chaotic the travel restriction traffic light system is so chaotic it's just crazy like there's no the anxiety levels for everyone who's got holidays booked is just so up and down it's ridiculous because one minute they say something you're like oh we'll be fine then and then the next minute they change the mind and there's just this constant changing of the mind it's just like you don't have a clue where you stand you never you're never safe we're going abroad at the minute it's just ridiculous but i don't see why it shouldn't be it should just be a crystal clear you know like with the usa we can't go we haven't been allowed to go since last year that's fine at least we know we are not allowed to go and there's nothing we can do about that i think all this one foot in one foot out with all these countries just getting on my nerves and i just want to know can i go and it'll all be fine and i can go and come back and everything will be as i imagined it would be when i left or can i not go and it's cancer do you know what i mean I just want a clear, crystal clear answer and that will be the answer for the whole duration. I think it's going to be like that all week. While we're there, anyway, just going to have to try and forget about it. Anyway, back to the task in hand. I'm going to edit. I'm going to try my best to edit the first vlog for Disney Magic at Sea. Let's do that. Hello! It's now two weeks since the day that you've just watched. Um, I'm vlogging on my phone because I don't know where my camera is and I can't bother going to look for it. Um, but yeah, we've now been home from Gran Canaria for an entire week. And it's obviously uh, embarkation day, day one and day two vlogs have been up. You're now watching the de-embarkation day slash changeover day for us going to Gran Canaria. Um, yeah, I'm just sat editing it for it to go up tonight. Um, cause today's Monday, the 16th of August, so yeah, two weeks since. Um, it's going to be up tonight, um, and I just realised I didn't finish the vlog. Um, I'm not sure if I did the next morning or not, but if I didn't, I thought I'd add this clip in anyway. Um, because I just wanted to say thank you very much to every single person who has watched the Disney Magic at Sea Cruise Line vlog series. Um, it's been, we absolutely loved filming a new Disney like vlog series um, and that the comments and like messages we've had off people about the Cruise Line vlog series being really good has been really nice. Um, really appreciate all the new subscribers that we've gained um, and all the lovely comments and things that we've had. It's been really nice. Um, but yeah, unfortunately that's now come to an end and that, um, there isn't going to be any more Disney content for a little bit, but there will be this side of Christmas all being well. So yeah, make sure you stick around because, oh, Siri's listening to me a minute. Yeah, make sure you stick around, um, watching our vlogs and stuff because there will hopefully be a Disneyland Paris vlog series this side of Christmas and it's for everyone's favourite season, Halloween. So uh, yeah, all being well, we will be in Disneyland Paris for Halloween weekend. Me and Becky with uh, two of my cousins, Laura and Hannah. Um, if you don't already follow Laura, Laura has a YouTube channel as well. She's called Lollipop1996. I will leave her link down below. Um, yeah, so the four of us are going and we have got tickets for the Halloween party. So we've got big plans, very excited. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed that will happen. Um, but anyway, back to the task in hand. Thank you very much for watching the Cruise Line vlogs. And if you guys want to watch the Grand Canaria vlogs, then the first vlog will be up on Wednesday this week so wednesday the 18th of august at five o'clock all being well it'll be wednesday at five o'clock um and i think the grand canary vlogs will be in two vlogs because i didn't vlog that much uh, whilst we was in grand canary because it was just a relaxing five day holiday you know laying by a pool all day however we had a lot of drama in the first 24 hours of being there so i think the first vlog will be all the drama that happened um trust me you don't want to miss it a lot happened um and then um 
the second vlog will just be a little bit of a montage -y few clips here and there of like what the rest of the holiday was like and um, like i say it was just a relaxing holiday there wasn't much to vlog there wasn't much to do a lot of stuff was closed because of covid um but we had a lovely time um i've got a nice little tan <laughs> so yeah so wednesday will be the first part of the grand canaria vlogs which you don't want to miss i think friday will be the second grand canaria vlog and then next monday so a week today we'll be back on weekly vlogs i'm gonna uh, start filming on Wednesday like back to normal like just normal home midweek vlogs so yeah so you've got the embarkation th tonight which you just watched clearly Wednesday part one of Gran Canaria Friday part two of Gran Canaria and then next Monday we're back to normal but yeah anyway thank you very much for watching this week's um I'll say this week's yeah thank you very much for watching all of last week's and this week's videos um hope you guys enjoyed the disney cruise line vlog series and we shall see you on wednesday with part one of the grand canaria vlog series bye